Good morning, students. Welcome to Class Five Mathematics. Today, we are going to solve some objective type problem of Chapter Ten and Hundreds. So let's begin. Number one, fill in the blanks. So first one, three point zero eight five into ten equals to dash. So three point zero eight five into ten, as we know. When we are multiplying with 10, point will shift one digit, shift by one digit from its current position to the right. So here, what will be the answer? Here, at 3.085 into 10, that is point will shift to from here to here after zero. So answer will be 30. Point 8, 5. Next, number B, 9.123 multiplied by dash equals to 912.3. So, as we know, we can see here, here point is after 9 and here point is after 2. So, point shift by 2 digits from its current position to its right. So, that is, we have to multiply by 100. Next, number C, 6.235 multiplied by 100 equals to what? So, we are multiplied by 100 means point will shift 2 digits. So, 6.235 Multiplied by 100 becomes 623.5. Next, number D, dash divided by 100 equals to 5.23. Now, you can, as we know, when we are dividing by 100, point will shift by 2 digits from its current position to its left. In case of multiplication, point will shift to the right and in case of division, point will shift to its left. So here, 5.23. So this comes when we have divided a number by 100. So what will be the number? The number will be 523. As we, as we divide 523 divided by 100, 523 means here point is at the last after 3. So 523 divided by 100 equals to 5.23. Now, E dash multiplied by 10 equals to 0 0.05. So, after shifting one digit to its right, the result becomes 0 0.05. So, what is the actual number? 0 0.005. If you multiply 0 0.005 by 10, you will get 0 0.05. So just keep it in mind when we are multiplying by 10 or 100 or 1000 like that number, point will shift to its right. And when we are divide a number by 10 or 100 or 1000, point will shift from its current position to its left. In this type of problem, no need to do the normal division procedure. Just shift the point. Now, next number 2, choose the correct alternatives. Number A, 0 0.009 multiplied by 100 equals to what? The options are given 9, 0 0.9, 0 0.09, 90. So, as we know, 
Multiplied by 100 means point will shift to its right by 2 digits. So 1 digit, 2 digit. So point will shift here. So answer will be 0 0.9. Which is the correct answer? Number 2. 0 0.9. Next number B. 8.75 divided by 100 equals to what? In case of division, point will shift to its left. So, by one digit, point will shift before 8. Here we have to divide by 100, that is we have to shift, it, we have to shift the point two digits. So, here is one digit, so another I will take 0. So, answer will be 0. 0875 option 3 will be the correct option next number C 1.8 divided by 2 1.8 divided by 2 equals to what the options are 0 0.9 0 0.09 9 and 0 0.009 so if I Divide 1.8 divided by 2. What will happen? We are dividing 1.8 by 2. Now, just see, 2 is, here is 1 digit, here is 1 digit. If I take, so 1 is the lesser number than 2. So we have to take 2 digits. And when we are taking 2 digit point becomes. So at first put the point here. Now without point what is the number? 18. So as we know 9 to the 18. So answer is point 9 and as the point is the first so just before point take one zero. This zero will represent the point specifically. So answer is 0 0.9 option 1 next number D 0 0.0001 multiplied by 1000 equals to what 0 0.001 number 2 1 number 3 0 0.1 number 4 0 0.01 so multiplied by 1000 that is point will shift 3 digits to its right. So answer will be what? Point if the point will shift three digits, point will become here. So answer is 0 0.1. That is option three will be the correct answer. Now next number three multiply. Number a 3.5 into 2. Now just, you see, 3.5, if the point is not here, what will be the number? 35. So 35 into 2, that is 70. 35 into 2 equals to 70. Now, how many digits are there after point? Only one digit. So, point will be here. So 7.0, which you can write only 7. So 3.5 multiplied by 2 equals to 7. Next number B. 10.55 multiplied by 0 0.3. So 10.55 multiplied by 0 0.3. If the point not here. The number becomes 1055. And if the point not here, the number becomes 3. So in this case, we have to multiply 1055 into 3. So, just multiply it. 3 fives are 15, 15 5. 1 is carry. 3 fives are 15 and 1 16. 16 is 6, 1 is carry. First one, 3 fives of 15 and 5, 1 is carry. Again, 3 fives of 15 and 1, 16 and 6, 1 is carry. 
Three zero zero plus one, that is one. Three ones are three. Three one six five. Now count total how many digits are there after point. Here is two digit and here is one digit. To total three digits are there after point. So point will be three digits before one two three. So answer will be three point one six five. Next number six. Number C, ninety five point six multiplied by five. So here just do the multiplication. Five six is thirty. Thirty zero three is the carry. Five five is twenty five and three twenty eight and eight two is carry. Five nine is forty five and two forty seven. So total one digit is there after point. So we have to put the point here. So our answer will be four hundred seventy eight. You can write four hundred seventy eight point zero, or you can write four hundred seventy eight. Both will be correct. Next division number eight. Eight hundred eight point one six divided by ten. So, <clears throat> students, how do you know that when we are dividing by hundred, point will shift one digit from its current position to its left, from its current position to its left. So, point is here. So when we are dividing by ten, the point will shift one digit before. So where will be the point? Before eight, <coughs> so answer will be zero point eight one six. Zero point eight one six. Similarly, number B, twelve point five divided by five. Now. You do the normal division. Twelve point five divided by five. <coughs> so five to the ten to its remainder. Now five comes here. Here is point. So we are taking point here. Five five is a twenty five. So what will be the result? Two point. Five, two point five. So twelve point five divided by five equals to two point five. Next one, one point six eight divided by two. Again, do the division. One point six eight divided by two. Now you just. C. Here is one digit. So at first we have to take care one digit. So if I take care one digit, this one is lesser than two. So we have to take two digits first. If I take two digits, sixteen. But the point comes. So at first we have to take one. Now sixteen. That is eight to the sixteen. Now eight comes. Four to the eight. So what will be the result? Zero point eight four. So the result becomes zero point eight four. So one point six eight divided by two equals to zero point eight four. Do some homework. Number one, fill in the blanks. 0.09 multiplied by 100 equal multiplied by 10 equals to dash b 1.683 into 100 c 2.005 divided by 100 d dash divided by 10 equals to 8.75 next number 2 choose the correct alternatives Number eight, 
87.5 multiplied by 100 equals to what? Option 1, 8750, 2, 875, 3, 0.875, 4, 87.8.75. Next number B, 99.99 multiplied by what equals to 999.9? Option 100, option 2, 10, option 3000, option 4, 1. C, 6.39 divided by 3 equals to what? Number 1, 2.57, number 2, 2.13, number 3, 213, number 4, 32.1. Number 3, multiply A, 87.5 into 0.3. B, 35.7 into 2. C, 9.65 into 5. D, 85 into 0 0.1. Number 4, divide. A, 23.4 divided by 3. B, 6.95 divided by 5. C, 7.5 divided by 15.